Hi knitters. Welcome to Recreational Knitting. My name is Karen. You can find me on Instagram at Recreational Knitting Podcast and on Ravelry. I'm Sampler Gal. This week we're currently in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, home of beer and cheese and brats. Uh, there's not a whole lot of footage um, from the area. Uh, we, it's been a, it's been a week. Let's just put it that way and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, I did manage to get to a yarn store today though. Today is the Sunday before Memorial Day in the United States. I believe the date is May the 30th. Um, we are currently in a fairgrounds RV park in Milwaukee. Um, we have really enjoyed our time here. We're leaving here tomorrow. Uh, I, we are talking about possibility of maybe relocating here. It's really nice. Uh, we really like it. And, and then we think about February. So I'm not sure where this is going to go. So anyway, I just wanted to welcome you to my little corner of the internet and um, here we go. We're going to talk about some yarn and knitting and finished objects and all that kind of stuff. All right, first I've got three finished objects. I know, what's that about? I should have put these on the sock blockers. They have not been blocked. I'm waiting for a nice day that's not rainy, that's not overcast, that's not 50 degrees, that's not, um, that will be around the campsite because I don't want anybody to steal my knitting. Uh, and that hasn't happened yet. Oh, and we need a picnic table so I can put my blockers on. So anyway, I have a new pair of socks. This is the Rose, Rose City? Yeah, Rose City Rollers. I always want to call them Bay City Rollers after the rock group in the 70s or 80s. Um, little shorties, I wear shorties a lot, living in Florida. And this was a nice pattern, I liked it. Um, if you hear something, that's my printer going. It kind of does what it wants with the really bad internet that we have here. So, um, yeah, I, this is a nice pattern. It's a great pattern for somebody that's just learning to knit socks, turning heels. She really explains it well, step by step by step. I would highly recommend the pattern to that type of person. Um, this is brown sheep yarn. It's a fingering weight. And it's, I've described it on my other um, shows in the past. It's really a great sock yarn. Um, I think it's gonna wear well. Um, I got it at the outlet for, I think 99 cents. So pretty cheap pair of socks. I have a little bit left over. It was a 50 gram ball. And um, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So that's my first finished object, yay! We like finished objects. The second finished object was, I just got really uh, cold <laughs> the other day. And I had this in my stash here. It was a kit from Knit Stars, used to be known as Loops in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, we spent about four to six months in Tulsa. Um, I had hip replacement surgery there, um, highly recommend it. Um, but as a result, um, I went a little crazy at the knitting store. So I made a cow out of their Loops yarn. You can see what colors I like. Um, just a plain garter stitch, you know, kitchener at the end. It was so easy, but it's an alpaca and it's, it's really soft. I'm going to give this to my, um, I think my oldest daughter so that she can wear it um, 
she's going to be going to grad school. She's a teacher. Um, you know, just something. Uh, she wears a lot of black, so I thought maybe that would brighten her day. She's got eyes about three shades darker than this in blue, and it will be beautiful on her. So, nothing to write home about. Um, simple garter stitch. It's a really, you can see the halo of the yarn. Um, those of you that don't know about um, knit stars, I am not an ambassador for them. Um, I do have uh, many, if not all, of their seasons. Um, the gal, Shelly Bander, Brander, Brander, uh, who owns Knit Stars slash Loops, um, is really a dynamo. She has started a video series, and she has seasons, and I think it's up to season seven. Um, and she has real experts that she goes to their homes, their locales. Um, some of the people that have been on, on her series are Nan Carlos, um, Stephen West, Nancy Marchin. So there's a lot of good instruction that happens within that series look at it see what you think you might want to it's it's pricey but um i really did like the instruction that i was getting from it and when COVID hit i'm telling you it was wonderful because i was able to sit there watch these videos and while i only did i think one of the projects um just the expert um nature of of the series is amazing and it's very professionally done they go into amsterdam they go into norway i mean it's it's very well done um so look at that and see what you think second finished object yeah woohoo third finished object you've been seeing this forever and i'm finally done it's my mustard ochre um, sweater that is the yarn is Swan's Island Sport. Um, this is a sport weight. It's the color ochre. It's hand dyed. It's hand milled. And it's wool from the USA. So if that's important to you, this is a great wool um, to to look for. It's Rambouillet. Uh, Rambouillet? Rambouillet. What did I say? Words. Anyway, um, I really, really, really enjoyed this. It smells divine. Absolutely. You know, you know when, when you sniff that yarn? Mm. And it's really soft. I really like it. I'm one that some of the Icelandic, Norwegian, you know, those get a little prickly, um, especially when you warm up. This, I don't think is going to do that. Let me show you what I've done. Okay, last time I had a sleeve and I had the body done and I had the second sleeve up to this. RBG Stitch Progress Keeper. And it became evident that I was either going to have to buy another skein of yarn, and this is rather pricey for sweater. I mean, one skein, okay, but seven or eight or nine, it becomes a very expensive sweater. And I, I'm, I'm not there. Um, I don't do that. So I thought, what can I do? So since I had put a little stripe in up here, I thought, all right, I'm going to do that down here. So I did it and I thought, okay, that should be good enough. And I need a little bit more. I said, no, not going to be enough. 
And then we had a terrible tragedy here in the United States. We had one last week, which I'm... A guy with a assault rifle went into a grocery store in Buffalo, New York and killed many people. It's racist and I was just starting to unwind, I guess, a bit from that when sometime this week uh, a horrific school shooting occurred. And there's 19 kids and two teachers. And so what I did was I made 19 stripes and then added two for the teachers who lost their lives. to gun violence in the United States. I'll try not to get political, but this is my little tribute to those gorgeous children and the teachers who tried to save them. And there, we're gonna talk more about knitting because I'll cry if I don't. So I have another finished object, a nice warm sweater. We're headed off to Green Bay, Wisconsin tomorrow, and then the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And likely this will get some use. I haven't been able to block it yet. As I said, I need a picnic table and all the right things. Those are my three finished objects. I'm quite pleased that I got that much done. Very good, right? Um, I'm gonna show you, I've been working on it. My Rocket Tea. Which I'm making out of Edo lace, weight, held double. And I've gotten to the place where it's now a V-neck. So this is kind of the, the layout of it. Um, I have found that I may be an idiot when it comes to knitting and I'm okay to say that, um, but I have had to tear this out quite a bit. Um, I've gone, I've probably would have it close to finished if I had made mistakes along the way. So now what I've decided is I am, I am not <laughs> going to rip it out unless it's really bad. So it will be beautiful, I think. Um, but it's, it's like splitty yarn when you carry two lace together. Um, if that's your bag, ah, I bow down to you. Um, I have found out this is not my bag. Uh, I think that if I did this same pattern in, you know, a fingering weight and a mohair like she calls for, um, it probably would be pretty easy to do. Um, I just don't like mohair. If you're gonna do summer, mohair and summer don't mix for somebody who lives full-time in Florida. Just saying. So, um, this has silk and wool, um, which I find to be breathable fabrics. So, anyway, um, you know, I've made some progress. Stitches look a little wonky, um, but I think it's, it's coming along. I'm feeling better about it. Still not enjoying it, but I'm making myself do two rows a day and that was um, also when I was um, tearing things out and so like if I tore eight out I'd have to put two back in so 
so I made some progress on it. Um, oh, here's where I was the last time. I forgot I put a progress keeper on it. Right here. So I've made that much progress. I don't think I showed it to you last time because I was mad at it. And so it didn't get shown. But I think that um, I've made enough progress that I'm, I'm gonna get this done. So yeah, it'll, it'll be done by winter. Summer tea, yeah. Anyway, so, and that's ready to go back in its little bag over here. Okay, what else do I have? Um, I have, this is my son-in-law's scarf. I've worked a little bit here and there on that. Again, this is um, pure, like, sheepy wool, uh, Briggs and & Little. And I think the last time I was here, here so I've made a little progress here and there on this um, I like it it's the basket weave pattern I believe that's what it's called um, it'll look so much better blocked up but anyway he wanted something that he could wear um, when he's helping customers in and out when it's really bitter cold and that's should should work for him so, keeping that going, I did work on it. Felt kind of guilty not working on it. And so, I'll continue to work on that. Let's see, what else have I worked on? Oh, new cast on. Three, three things done, one cast on. It'll, I'll get there, right? This is, I started this we were in Chicago and it was 48 degrees the night we went to see the Boston Red Sox and the White Sox play. Um, boy, Chicago's a nice town. It really is. Um, I'm so sorry that um, they're having so much trouble with crime, um, but it really is a beautiful place to go. It rained except for the one day that we went to see the ball game. So, I cast on, and of course, I told you a few, back, a few um, episodes back, not to stop in the middle of a row. There, there. Makes you a better knitter not to stop in the, better, in the middle of the row. There. there it is, right in the middle of the row, folks. Um, this is called the Crunkled Socks by the Bakery Bears. Let's see if I can find a better picture of this. They're very adorable and very easy. Very, very easy. Um... I'm really enjoying it. I made a mistake while I was sitting there watching them, the, the Red Sox route the White Sox. But you know what? They're socks. I'm not ripping these back. This is West Yorkshire Spinners. I think I um, showed this to you last time. I bought this in um, Brown County when we were there at the Clay Pearl and I've lost the ball band already. I, I don't even know what to say. But isn't that a beautiful color? And this is what they work up to be when you don't do vanilla socks. You can see that I did this. They're supposed to be off, but I did two that were the same there. They're socks. They're going to be on my leg and I doubt that anybody's really going to be checking them out unless they're a fellow knitter and then they'll understand. Would you understand? I would. I would never judge. Anyway, that's the first sock. So don't have a lot to show, but cast a new sock on. Can you tell what my colors are? Teals? Turquoise, aquas, 
teals, blues, blue greens. Okay, that's it for works in progress that I've actually done some work on, I think. Yeah, that's it. I'm sitting here at my little workstation. This is where I knit. This is my little recliner. Um, and I have my knitting bags over here. I say bags because it's plural. Um, but I am getting better. Now, today, being in Milwaukee, I went to a shop called Cream City Yarn. Oh, what a lovely little shop it is. It really is. And not being from Wisconsin, I had no idea Cream City thinking dairy lands on their license it must have lots to do with cows milk ice cream cheese all that stuff no it has we we, we googled and they asked as well when they started to um create the downtown in milwaukee the the rock that is below the city when they started to excavate was cream colored. So they called it the cream city. The more you know, ding. All right, so let's see. I think I got a few things. The first thing that I got was on the sale table. I always go to the sale table first. Anybody else guilty of that? This is Emma's. Have you used Emma's yarns? Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Um, I've not been to a shop that I could find it. This is the first time. So I got a little itty bitty. It's a sim uh, Emma Simply Spectacular Smalls. And the, the color is all shucks. And it was on sale tables, about a dollar off. Um... I don't know if you can see the different colors. There's browns, gold, of course. And there's a pop of red here and there and a pop of orange in there. And I think if you dig in more, there's some green. My light's going. But anyway, so that'll, that'll do some toes or in something. Not sure what. I try to support my local yarn shop. Well, I don't have one right now. So, every yarn shop is my local yarn shop. Yeah. Okay. So, I bought a little coffee mug. She says it keeps things cold and hot. So, Cream City Yarns. Since we really liked Milwaukee a lot um, and would consider actually moving here, um, I decided to support and got got a mug so you'll be seeing me drink out of that um i usually drink out of this one this is my favorite one because color max max a doodle wait till you see this yarn i brought it out my husband goes really it's emma's yarn they don't have a local dyer here that um, sparked my soul. Um, the they had very summerish tones in the, the local dyer's um, sock yarn. Um, it just didn't speak to me, so I got a couple of Emma's yarn. This is crazy beautiful. Copor, super silky. It's 80% merino and 20% silk. Now, I'm not a huge pink girl, but look at that brown in there. Oh, 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 oh. It's, it's to die for. And <clears throat> I thought this was appropriate. Hoping you can see that it says the colorway is glamping. I don't know what I'll make, but it's beauteous. <clears throat> Excuse me. So 
So that's number one. Remember, I'm limited to, to two, but this really didn't count because it's, it, it's nothing. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. The second is just a real pale neutral with some pops of red and brown. And I think that this will look gorgeous in a shawl. Again, it's 20% silk. So it is like the softest stuff. And when you put them together, would that not make a gorgeous shawl? I mean, they only had one of each. Had they had two, I probably would have gotten two of this. Um, or even three, if they'd had three. I, I would have found something to make with that much sock yarn. It is really, truly heaven. Anywho, I think, I don't know, if you have suggestions for a great shawl pattern. Isn't that pretty? That's not just me, right? I just think it's really, really pretty. And again, I don't, I've, I usually go for more bold colors because gray hair, pale skin, um, I, but this drew me in. I had to have this. Um, and I really went in looking for a yarn that is really more mostly navy blue, has a pop of pink, a pop of lime green, could have a pop of cream color. It could, you know, have some of those other things, but it needs to have lime and it needs to be navy for certain. And then other things can, can happen as well. Um, I have a shawl pattern that I want to make and I have the lime green already and it's ready to roll in my head and um, couldn't find it. So this is what I got today. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. I love it. It is so soft. What's not to like? Merino and silk. Um, I may just sleep with it tonight. I don't know. What is it about us yarnies that just like to feel and to look at yarn? I don't know. I'm gonna put in here, if I can do all that editing stuff, a little mini tour of her shop. And because we don't have a lot of footage of Milwaukee or Chicago because of the weather, I'm going to go back a year and show you our favorite park, Yellowstone. Um, if you've not been, you must. Um, it is probably the most beautiful place I've ever been. And I've been in a lot of really beautiful places. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in the yarn shop and then some pictures of Yellowstone from last year when we were there. Beautiful wildlife. Anyway, I just want to thank you all for being here. I love you all. You're making this community great. Please comment down below what national park you want to go to this summer if you could. I'll see you. Bye.